Greetings fellow Expanse lovers! Welcome to the new uh, video series uh, with a new project. And uh, what project will it be? Uh, well, the Raptor class light cruiser from the MCR Navy. And what exactly is a uh, Raptor class? Well, let's take a look. This is it. I'm sure you certainly recognize that this is the Pella the flagship of the Free Navy. Uh, this ship is, as you already know, uh, originally a Martian ship, which was given by the Rogue Faction to Enaros for the Proto Molecule. Uh, this light cruiser in the show was never actually said uh, what class it is, but uh, in the books there indeed is a light cruiser class, which is called the Raptor class. And because it was not mentioned in the show, then unofficially it kind of stuck that the Pella is actually the Raptor class. And because I hate calling something an uh, unidentified class or whatever, uh, I went with it. So uh, basically we will do the Raptor class. Now first bear in mind we will not do the Pella itself, we will do a generic uh, Raptor class light cruiser. Anyway, uh, when it comes to the making the model itself, uh, this uh, wallpaper, let's say, this was very helpful because of those basic views. I was able to make uh, the base model, very generic model, and then using other pictures uh, like this one or this one, I did all the various details. But I also prepared one thing special, uh, especially for this project and that was this short video where I cut it uh, several exterior shots of the ship from the series and basically used those as a reference point to see uh, what's what. Yeah. Okay, and uh, based on this I designed the model itself. So let's take a look at the model. And this is the model itself. Now, uh, first things first, as you can see, it has the standard MCRN uh, color scheme, uh, but this this color scheme is completely invented by me. I tried to be um, well faithful to the previous models with the with the uh, scheme, but yeah, it's it's completely mine. I hope you like it, and uh, yeah. Uh, I named the ship Ares and gave it a serial number 386. Uh, why Ares? Uh, well, because I wanted it to go hand in hand with the previous two ships, which were Phobos and Deimos. And if you know a little bit about the mythology, uh, the Greek one uh, in particular, uh, you will understand. Okay, so a little description. The ship is actually from the cone to the antenna one meter and eight centimeters long it's quite a big boy and a heavy a heavy boy uh, on the first glance you can uh, hopefully see that the ship shares few uh, features with the previous ship and uh, by those I mean mainly the PDCs, which are exactly the same, uh, then the airlock and slash air bridge, uh, then the uh, sensor antennas, which are exactly the same as on the Corvette class, the torpedo covers and the torpedoes themselves, those are identical, and uh, also the maneuvering thrusters. Uh, those are exactly the same one, same, same ones I used on the Morrigan class. Also, uh, uh, the driving cone and the supports are the same as with other models, though scaled differently. And uh, there is uh, one other thing, um, which comes to the well, artistic license, uh, which. Uh, I've, I took few artistic liberties. Uh, first of them is here I added a drone hub. So 
it felt bad that uh, Corvette and Orion has one and this one should not and because it was never mentioned in the show I simply decided I will put it here so uh, also the parts of the hub are the same as uh, on the previous two ships so yeah that was one uh, artistic liberty i took and the other is that if i would uh, if i was 100 percent uh, faithful to the uh, fx model then the ship would be even bigger it would be around 1.3 meters long but i was afraid uh, of doing it so big even now uh, with just over one meter um, let's say i am not uh, Thrill, thrilled about uh, the printing um, hopefully everything will uh, f uh, not just fit together but hold together because it will be quite heavy so uh, for the purpose of 3d printing and of course the display options i decided to make it, make it a little bit shorter but still it fits all nice uh, all nine uh, pdcs the air bridge and stuff like that Okay, I also designed uh, this stand for it, but it's uh, not something uh, I could really, well, advertise. Uh, as you can see, it's rather simplistic, it's made out of two pieces, and those are kinda narrow. Uh, that has one specific reason, and that's because the entire thing will be inserted into uh, custom made wooden uh, support and that is why I need this shape I understand this is uh, something you will not have but I hope that in the community there will be uh, some talented people who will make uh, some support for the stand or anything like that well I, I prepared a placard for it with the name class and stuff like that but uh, I don't even think that I will print it because uh, I cannot use it, so why even bother? Yeah, well, that's something, I'm sorry, you have to deal with. Anyway, uh, we can uh, take a look uh, how it actually looks when it's open, meaning ready for battle, because here is one other uh, thing I was uh, forced to do when it comes to the, uh, well, design uh, compromises uh, so now as you can see all the PDCs are open so it's ready for war and uh, the torpedo covers are open uh, showing the torpedoes in the bay but as you can see here those torpedo covers are not open and that's because those are actually fake uh, why? because I wasn't able to do them uh, openable uh, well Doing the openable isn't problem, but the problem was actually to make a hole for an ad for a whole torpedo. Uh, that was a problem, and because I couldn't fit the torpedo and didn't want to make some, well, uh, cut it torpedo stuff like that, I decided I will simply make this uh, as a dummy model. Basically, I I, I hope you are okay with that. Uh, I I had very little choice in the matter. It's basically how the entire front assembly is done uh, and assembled that kind of prohibited uh, use of the torpedoes there. Okay, I will close it. And uh, now the final thing I would like to talk about. Uh, if you take a look here at the model tree, you will see that it's actually di uh, divided into several sub-assemblies. And because how big it is, and because how, well, time-consuming it will be, uh, we will do the rest of the series in uh, this manner. Uh, in every uh, other uh, part of the series, I will do one particular sub-assembly. So, in the second part of this video, you can look forward uh, for me doing the entire bag. So, we will print everything, we will paint everything, and we will assemble everything. And once that is done, then we will move to other sub-assemblies. 
and do them. Uh, this is the only way I can think of uh, how to actually do it because how big and uh, how long the printing process will be. So yeah, it will it will be uh, kind of like the old models and old uh, projects I did uh, where it took quite a long time to print everything. Okay, so I would say that uh, that's that's all for now. Uh, a few details. I I hope uh, that you like the model, uh, and uh, you can look forward for another part, where which I don't know when it will be because, as I said, it will take a long time to print it. But anyway. Uh, hope you enjoyed and we will see in the next part of the project. Have a very nice day and bye bye.